Hello dogs and dugouts and welcome back to the channel. Today we'll be playing WWE 2K19. Uh, got the game uh, three days early I believe. Uh, yeah, so we're gonna uh, play a bit of my career mode. So hopefully you guys enjoy. I know a lot of other YouTubers are doing this so I thought, you know what, I wanna do an actual series. So there we go. We'll be playing as a custom I just made really quickly. I just call him Damien Black. Uh, yeah. He's paying his dues. That's what they call that. Sure. You gotta check out this guy's highlights online. He's going to be a huge star in WWE someday. Thanks. That's nice of you to say. I mean about the wrestler on the poster who is uh, definitely not there. Come on, let's go. Hope you beat Mr. CQ. I can't stand that guy. Or maybe I'll see him in the crowd Friday night. I mean, as a fan. As a fan. Uh, definitely not from the ring. Because I'm not a wrestler. There we go, Damien now doesn't want anyone to know he's a wrestler. Doesn't want anyone to know he's sleeping in his van. All the usual stuff. Right. So a few days later. So obviously, as I mentioned, a lot of other YouTubers are doing my career mode. Because, you know, it's, a, it's one of the things everyone's most excited for. If you'd like to see me pretty much complete my career mode, if you enjoyed this episode, obviously. Uh, let me know down in the comments if you want to see a full walkthrough of Damian Black. And you want to see his road to the WWE from the Indies. And everything in between. So we go now going to go in the back of the bug van. Get ourselves changed, ready for the show. Should be a good show tonight. Turnout, I think we're going to have a great turnout. Oh, right. Yeah, Damien's ready. The, the one thing I will still say, though, is I, like, when I, when I started creating Damien, is the issue was, there is, obviously you've got to unlock them, but there is zero hairstyles, there's barely any, there's about six, six hairstyles, and that's pretty much it. Which is, you know, it's alright, but, sucks a little, just because, obviously, kind of wish we had more hairstyles to choose from but what are you going to do right here we go Matt Bloom aka A Train aka Tensai aka Albert aka Giant Bernard right can I have a little chat hey, man Baron's voice sounds really, really, really familiar. Really great stuff. Thanks. You must be a true student of the game. I try to be. So why do they call you Van Gogh? Are you some kind of artist? Not quite. I gave him that name because everywhere he goes, his dad's old work pen goes. He practically lives in that thing. Yeah, practically. So what brings you out to our show? I'm here to scout your opponent, Cole Quinn. Uh, you know, Damien Black, I, I I think he's a bit of a, he's got a chip on his shoulder, so, you know. look at me too. I mean, you came all the way here, you're just going to be watching the match anyway, right? I respect your confidence, but I'm here to evaluate your confidence. That's not the same <sighs> you'll be watching every other wrestler here tonight, but I wouldn't go get your hopes up. Understood. Well, I gotta go get ready, but it was really Deep nice down. to Mr. Bloom. And, you know, Damien's not a fan. I think he's frustrated. Why wouldn't you come here to see Damien Black? This virtual unknown. Right, let's go talk to Cole Quinn. Man, good to see you. 
about that slow your roll, Greeny. Tonight's my big chance to get signed to NXT, so don't do anything to screw it up. <laughs> okay, look, I'm gonna give it everything I have tonight, and we'll see where we stand after that. All I know is I'll be standing in Orlando at the performance center. You can continue standing in high school gyms. We'll see. We will see. Right, so I was going to start this a lot earlier. I'm not talking to Cole Quinn again. Just get the match underway. But going back to it, obviously, like the only issue at the minute overall that I've had with career mode, and it's the biggest nitpick ever, is I was going to try and make it a character that looks like me and stuff like that, but obviously you can't. There's not much customization at the start, so I just decided, you know. Screw it, I'm just gonna change change the character up and just make him non me in any way. So came up with a very uh random name of Damien Black. Give me the old jog down the ring. Down to the ring I should say. God we are Sold out, jam packed to the rafters. And here he comes, our opponent for tonight, Cole Quinn. I haven't got much of a comment to say except suspenders, that's, that's different, I guess. <laughs> right, here we go. Cole Quinn, this is Damian Black. Matchup begins, Damian. What the hell? That was... That was pretty friggin' cool. Oh, I picked the striker class, that's why. I was gonna say. Irish whip off the rope. Nice clothesline by Damien Black. So I don't know what Damien's finisher is. Oh, there we go. I forgot from the gameplay I saw online that... Bam! Bloody blade talks. Well, anyway, here we go. Damien off the top rope. Big fist drop. Jerry Lawler esque. This is what BCW is all about. No fancy stage. No flashy pyro. No one running their mouth for way too long. Well, except for me. Other than that, it's all action all the time. And these guys are two of the best. Thank you, Baron. To be fair, the when I first saw the scene, it was pretty funny. God damn, I keep getting them with the same move. Whoop. Nicely done. Damien Black now misses the second strike. God damn, my striking is slow. Oh, that damn me. Yeah, we, we appreciate everything you do, Baron. Obviously, last year's career mode, he was a uh, producer as well on NXT. That's that's pretty cool, though. That at least there's a little bit of continuity between all the career modes. Even though in 15, Baron Blade didn't wasn't much of a factor at all. He just grabs you, puts you in the Boston Crab when you're in the Performance Center, and that's pretty much it. He, like, shows up again. Cole Quinn's got a finisher, he had used his payback, yeah. Yeah, but that's the only continuity between the career mode, pretty much, that I know of so far, because I haven't obviously played all the way through this one yet, so there might be more. You never know. But I do appreciate, like, the, all the arenas that they've added, like these custom ones for BCW. Yeah, it's not as funny, but if you've heard it before. Here we go. Gonna drop that fist drop again. Yes, top, well, second rope. Beautiful fist drop there by Damien Black. I almost forgot his name then. So, I mean, this name was just, just came to me in a dream. Here we go, nice shots there by Damien Black. Damien Black now about to get Cole Quinn to his feet. Here we go. Dirty deeds. 
Expertly done there by Damian Black. Damian Black gets into a seat. Come on, Baron. Let me let me take this. Let me take the. I'll do the play-by-play -play for this one. Alright. There we go. So nice running knee. So that's the signature. Well, at least I know now. That's good. At least that's handy information. Right. I'm gonna try for the pin next. I got a funny feeling he was gonna kick out. It'll actually be quite funny if he doesn't kick out now. One, two. Yeah, I thought he would. So hopefully now I've inflicted a little more damage. This is the. Fi Are you serious? That's the finisher. Ugh. <laughs> two, three. Oh, there we go. He made reference to it then. He said, to quote my old boss, Vince McMahon, What a maneuver! So it was quite good. Uh, decent, uh, obviously, this isn't Damien's debut, but a decent debut in career mode. That's okay. Well, that's good. That'll do, but that finish is... I think that finish has got to go. I'm not a huge fan of the finisher. Pretty crap, I'm not going to lie. The best signature, to be fair, I wouldn't mind that as a signature for Damien. He is a striker after all, so I guess it does make sense. And the Bug Busters van. Good match, Van Gogh. Yeah, great job out there. That means a lot coming from you. Orlando, here I come. I'm going to get a condo on the beach. There's no beach in Orlando. Well, then I'll make sure to furnish my condo with wall-to-wall -wall sand. Before you start making big plans, we have a few things to discuss. Like what? My start date? Future opponents? Waste measurements for the NXT title? Not exactly. To be honest, I'm not a fan of your Mr. CQ character. You need to come up with something different. <sighs> it's not really a character, but fine. I can come up with something different after I get to NXT. Full disclosure, I don't think you'll be heading to NXT. Not anytime soon, at least. I don't know, I'd argue, right? I'm gonna throw Damien under the bus, yeah. But at least... At least he's got a character. Cole Quinn. So, if that was his issue... And he wants to give me a tryout... I don't know. And see, this is why... I, this is specifically why I put the... Subtitles on because I, I am gonna to go try and talk you and, and deconstruct the these scenes. Don't make me regret my decision. I will. Thank you. Oh, there we go. Tryout match. I told you not to ruin this for me, and look what happened. Well, all I did was give it everything I had out there. Okay, I can't help but that he saw more potential in me. Potential. Or was it your boy Baron here putting you over with him? I always knew that he was your favorite, but I didn't think it would cost me a shot at WWE. This was all Matt Bloom's decision. Do you think I want to see my top guys leave? <laughs> and do you think we want to stay here forever, wrestling in front of a few hundred people for crap money? That's not what I meant. I'm just saying we're building something good here. Besides, if you left, who would design our title belts? I only made your belts because you pay us so little for wrestling. It's so bad teacher's pet over here has to live in his van. I thought that was a joke. I only live in it when times are tough, which is most of the time. Well, that nickname's not as much fun anymore. Look, you just need to trust the process. We're building a brand. And think of it this way. If any of us make it to WWE, it'll be good for everyone. It'll help put BCW on the map and lead to more opportunities. Oh, yeah. Easy for you to say. You're the one with the WWE trial match. He's right, though. What's the saying? The rising boat will lift all tides? Uh, I think it's the other way around. Whatever. Come on, let's drop this thing and bring it in for a BCW handshake. Yeah, no thanks. I'll let you two celebrate alone. You see, personally, I would have picked Cole Quinn for the tryout match. <laughs> They gotta work on that handshake. That is a load of crap as well. <laughs> Jeez. Oh, the quiche. <laughs> do, 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 do. 
Ooh, next week. Am I at Raw? Yeah. Um, yeah, I remember now. Don't know how I almost forgot that. <laughs> this is way bigger than the high school gym. And the VFW. And the state fair. Combined. Don't let that bother you. All that matters is the rings the same size. All right. Is it though? Did he measure this? Their rings, rings aren't covered in rust and mysterious stains. Hey, I'm not fixing that. Mysterious stains. Try to play it cool. You don't want to recite his entire career history like you did with Matt Bloom. Was it his entire career history? Hey, Hunter, it's been a while. This is my guy that Matt Bloom wanted to bring in for the tryout match tonight. Nice to meet you. You trained him, Baron? I did. He's one of my top students. I'll try not to hold that against him. Look, I've heard a lot of good things, but I want to see you in action tonight before we decide anything. Do you have an opponent for him yet? I do. Surviving in WWE is all about how you handle adversity, so you're going to face the toughest guy we have. Actually, the toughest monster we have. Go introduce yourself to Braun. Don't worry, he won't hurt you. Not until you match, at least. Uh, hey, Braun. I, I just wanted to introduce myself. No autographs. I'm not a fan. I'm actually your opponent tonight. You mean victim? You mean victim? I want to die tonight. Uh, I'd like to survive tonight if that's okay with you. What I meant was in what type of match you want to get these hands. How can you get those t two things confused? Do you want to die or get these hands like it? Actually, then again, he has done some stuff that. Yeah. That you could kill someone, you know, tipping ambulances and stuff like that. Right, what match do I want anyway? Um, I know he doesn't accept anyway, so I'll do whatever one tables I think it landed on. I can't believe you thought I was actually going to let you choose the type of match tonight. We're going to do what I want to do, because I'm the monster among men. So it'll be a steel cage match. That way you can't run from me. Steel cage. Great idea. I think, wouldn't it make more sense for a cell match, Braun? Because the issue is, the whole point of a steel cage, they say it's to keep you in, but there's no roof. So, uh... Do -do 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 -do. Do do. Then I thought it was a wise choice, Bron. You know I can. Uh, Damien's gonna kick your ass. I'm oh, a fair play. But, uh, from everything I saw, you know, before the game came out, I thought I think Korea mode is shaping up to be really good this year. I know, obviously, other people have played it since and hey, probably almost completed I've seen it. Some of your indie stuff online. Not bad. I'm gonna. I want to portray Damien as, a, even though obviously that's the only issue as well when it's completely set to almost a script is maybe it changes along the way. But I want Damien to be a pretty almost sarcastic, nasty heel. So thanks. Any advice on facing? Thanks. I watch you on TV every week. To uh, just before hey armpit over here. What is that? Ah, oh, yeah, I'll say that. How t oh, thanks. I watch you on TV every week. To I just can't believe how tiny you are in person. And I can't believe how stupid you are in person. I look forward to watching Braun destroy you tonight. It's gonna be an easy match. Just make the most of your opportunity, win or lose. 
Matt Bloom brought you in here because he saw something in you. Just go out there and show him that again. Oh, and try to get some free swag. I'd like a Budio's lunchbox if you're taking requests. What, like a replica title belt? Of course. Just trying to keep the mood right. But if you do see a lunchbox lying around, Didn't mean to do that. Hey, I've seen some of your indie stuff online. I've seen what he's capable of when he was my partner in the Mixed Match Challenge. Based on that, I suggest you start running. Now. Just make what? Oh no, well, I keep accidentally pressing stuff right. Anyway, on to the match. Do. What a what a try out match up like a dark match before a raw. Because you usually obviously tend to see I know obviously they have in the past that matches dark matches like try out matches before raw and before like you know SmackDown and all that, but it's just a we weird to have a steel cage match before Raw starts. Maybe the reason for that is there's actually gonna be a steel cage match on the actual roll when it begins I don't know, I'm thinking way too much into this oh here we go it was a nice run you know beat, uh, beat Mr. Quinn and now going to get absolutely decimated by Strowman hmm, not bad though Right, so, yeah, they put the reversal buff. Yeah, here we go. Try and last as long as possible. Nope. Oh my god, I kicked... Wow. I'm actually pretty shocked by that. Yeah, that, that, that time I couldn't kick out. Bet Braun's gonna be real pissed when he gets backstage. You kicked out of my running power slam. I'm not gonna take that. Yeah, he's gonna be pretty pissed. Thanks, don't have beards, uh, Damien. But no matter what, but neither do I, Baron Blade. In the BCW. Thanks. Hey, I saw a lot of positive things from you tonight. Most importantly, you didn't seem intimidated by being on the bigger stage or by being locked in the cage of the monster. So with that being said, we'd like to offer you an NXT contract. Well, hey. Look that over and return it at tomorrow night's show. This is amazing. Thank you. I would shake your hand, but I think three of my fingers are dislocated. Don't worry about it. Rest up and we'll finalize everything tomorrow. You did it. I'm shocked. Me too. I just can't believe it. I mean, against all odds. I know. I'll definitely be sad to see you go. Become one of my top guys. You'll be fine though, right? I mean, you got... Cole and the rest of the crew, yeah? Sorry, what, what am I doing? This is your time to celebrate. Not to worry about me and the BCW. You enjoy the moment. I'm gonna go talk to Triple H about when you might start, so maybe I can get you on one more BCW show. We'll do a big farewell match. It'll be great. Sounds good. I, I'll see you back at the hotel. Congrats, I'm, I'm proud of you. Thanks, Baron. 
Couldn't have done without you. Well, there we go. WWE contract. Things are going well. Whatever will go wrong. Do, 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 do. Baron Blade is a retired WWE superstar who left for unknown reasons to become a show producer. Rumors suggest WWE wouldn't let him. Damn. Oh. And this is where it goes down the tubes. The next day. As I said, oh. Um. Yeah. Do you know what? I I I want. I I actually know. That's how we're gonna decide things. I think, or at least some things. Oh, there we go. Apologize. I won't. I won't always. Uh, choose it at random. Sometimes I'll choose it. You, you know, the answer I feel is right. There we go. Hey, this wasn't your fault. I'm sure we'll figure something out. Come on, grab your stuff. We got that. The boyhood dream is over for Damien. Right, I can read the rest of this. WWE wouldn't let him execute his vision for a new never before seen match type. Hmm, will be quite interesting to see if he gets to execute that match type. Again? No. Better. What could be better than that? 
Well, after news of your NXT contract being pulled hit the internet, your fan fight video went viral. It's over 2 million views now. Sorry, make that 2.2 million. So a whole lot of people have watched me throw my career away. Why is that a good thing? Because controversy creates cash. My phone's been blowing up. Everyone wants to book you now. You're the hottest thing on the indie scene. And based upon the principle of supply, there's only one of you. And demand, like I said, is high. Your rate is skyrocketing. Okay, okay, this could be good. It could be very good. We could turn chicken crap into chicken salad, if you know what I'm saying. I don't think I get it. You're going to stick it to Triple H and WWE by making your own success in the Indies. You'll be way bigger than you ever would have been at NXT or WWE, and we'll do it together. So what do you say? Are you in? I mean, what other choice do I have? I'm in. I'm in. All right! Now, go brush your teeth. Your breath is terrible. Well, oh, cheers. Cheers, Baron. Questioning my dental hygiene. <sighs> Alright, there we go. Got some more XP. Can get a loot pack. Lucha. I could, but I don't know. I might not get it yet. I love how they reuse the Hammerstein Ballroom uh, ECW One Night Stand Arena for this. That's quite inno innovative. Innovative, sorry. That's another thing I'm waiting for in these games, because like when I've played. Uh, UFC, UFC 2, I think, actually, and UFC 3. I think they did UFC 1 as well. But they obviously, like, have the arenas, the arena names. So I'm wondering if uh, WWE games are ever going to do that. Going you know, like MSG and all that. Welcome to the new reality of BCW. Because of all your online hype, we sold out our usual allotment of tickets a few days ago. But... Since I'm an entrepreneurial genius, I pulled some strings with the school principal, allowing us to move the show outside. Therefore, doubling our capacity. <laughs> all right, all right, good work. But that's not all. See those fancy video cameras and that nice gentleman I was just speaking with? Uh, yeah. For the first time ever, BCW will be live streaming our event around the world on pay-per-view. So anyone who's not lucky enough to see Buzz in person can still watch him do his thing from the comfort of their homes for a small but fair fee. It's it great. Uh, yeah, it's great. Question, who is Buzz? <laughs> that's your new nickname. You know, because of all the social media buzz you're generating. Oh, he's, 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 he's great with these friggin' nicknames. It's all turning into God. Inside, my friend. Uh, yeah, speaking of making things not crappy, have you seen Cole? I feel like I should talk to him before our match tonight. Well, he's around here somewhere. And oh, I love it's just a random fan standing there. tonight is now Falls Count Anywhere. Thought you two could have some fun with all the extra space in here. The only way we could have any sort of quote-unquote fun with the empty space is if we were let a brawl on the streets and like on top of those buildings in the background. That would be amazing. Right, podcast. Uh, where's the... Ah, oh, I've got the phones back. That's actually awesome. I like that. Right. Entrance. John, I'm going to keep a lot of the same at the minute. 
His voice was the soundtrack for the biggest matches in square wrestle boy history. And now he breaks down the latest happens in the world of pro wrestling. Get ready for enticing conversations with legendary wrestling commentator Jack Tice. Former wrestler now any promoter Baron Blade has been in the news along with his protege from BC Dub. Supposed to be J.I. Sounds like it's just a What would have been cool is that they could have got some of the actual, you know, wrestling YouTube podcast. YouTube, sorry, wrestling podcast. Message from July 12, right, that's there for anyone who wants to read it. If you want to pause and read it, just because I'm going to get on with the rest of the matches. But I will, obviously, when there's text and all that, you can pause at any time and... Right, there we go. Cole. There he is. The man who drowned in his own rising tide. What the hell is he wearing? He apologized to me for stealing my shot at WWE and immediately throwing it away. <laughs> Look, I'm not apologizing for anything, okay? All I want to say is that we don't need to have each other's backs, but with what Baron is planning to do, the least we can do is have each other's respect. Right? So, are we good? Oh, yeah. We're so good? I thought I'd introduce you to my new character I'm trying out tonight. You remember how Matt Bloom didn't like Mr. CQ and decided to give you a tryout instead of me? Smart decision. I'm calling myself Black Hole Cole because I have an energy so intense, nothing can escape it. What? Oh, you don't like it? What? I'm not a fan of masks these days. <laughs> you know, I find it really interesting that I was attacked by somebody wearing a mask, and next time I see you, you have a mask. Not to mention, you also had all the motivation in the world to do it. Mm. You're right. It was me. So what are you going to do about it? You better tell me the truth right now. It wasn't me! I, I, I had a match that night, 300 miles away. I got the gas receipts to prove it. But I could have hired somebody to do it. What? It was a joke! Man! Relax! You're real funny. Real funny. We'll see who's laughing after our match tonight. I don't know, I was... <sighs> laughing a little then at his... That is a... That attire, God. The audience will be showing up soon. Get back to the cafeteria kitchen. I mean, locker room. <laughs> Cheers, Baron. Baron Blyhead. All right. So I haven't actually seen. This is obviously, well, from my view and experience, this is all I've watched up to. Uh, to is this part and I didn't actually see the match so the rest of this now is going to be completely new to me and I think next episode I'm going to change change it all up I'm going to change up Damien's luck might even change his name <laughs> don't know right so here we go Right, so in the general parking lot area, as we didn't pay to have the street club, BCW is getting bigger, but we're not traffic. That's an awful. See, I thought the whole joke was gonna be he was gonna be wearing that mask and he was gonna be like, Hey, uh you stole my shot at the WWE contract, so I'm going to be a thief tonight and steal a win from you or something like that instead 
What's his name? Black Hole Cole. I could be wrong. That is a amazing knee strike. Right, get called Yellow Hell. Right, and then strike him at the entrance ramp. I think we're going to take this outside the ring already. Right. Here we go. Damn. Oh, it's time to fight back. Put up more of a fight this time. STO, nicely done. Right. I do like this arena. This arena is really cool with all the cars. Reverse, reverse, reverse. Crap. Order reversal. Do I have that? Alright. Uh, might activate that just to give it a try. Or maybe not. Right. It says hit call with a. Uh oh. Crap, right. There we go. He went quiet then, so there's only the thank God I got the subtitles on. I think I'm gonna lose this. I'm slacking a little. Right, kick out. Right, let's get back into this. Right, it's four can anywhere anyway, so. Grab the steel steps and boom right to the face. Grab the steps again and to the back. Black, yeah, it was Black Hole Call. Yeah, but I agree with that, Baron. We can agree on that is an awful name. We apologize if anyone's having difficulty Ooh. with your paper. Uppercut. To be honest, we underestimated the demand to see buzz in action. We'd offer refunds, but hey, this event streaming from a high school parking lot. So what do you expect? Here we go, knee strike. A signature knee strike by Damian Black. No, Black's got the steel steps again. Smashing him in the skull. Right, here we go. Let's finish this. Oh yeah, I got Alistair Black's Black out as well. That's actually a cool finisher. I might keep that for a little bit. Bam, right to the side of the head. Cover, ref, thank you for taking your time. One, two... Three. Oh, I missed the. Oh, I, I didn't read. <laughs> I actually didn't read it. There's a quite a distance between me and my TV, so I'm actually gonna have to sit up and watch. I that was as Archer would say that one's on me. That was dreadful. I, I should have read that. I should be paying more attention. But as I said, 
there's quite a distance between the TV and and myself, so my mistake. <laughs> All right. Well, anyway, at least I get to bash black hole coal around a bit more. A stupid name. Right, come on. Oh, god damn. No more of this crap, Colt. You going down? Nope. I can't believe I failed that objective. I <laughs> can't get over that anyway, right. That's in the past now, that was like, not even a minute ago, well yeah, about a minute ago. Right. There we go. This is where we now start. And just keep beating him up the steps just so we can get a body part yellow quicker. Get up. Come on, we got this. Got this in the bag now. As long as I'm actually reading the... There we go, nice. Timed that quite nicely. Steel step still there, that's good to see. Here we go, right into my house. Yeah, the commentary, it, Baron's commentary keeps cutting out on this part. Right, let's read it now. Alright, get into the south barrier. Alright, well, we're gonna walk around. I'm just gonna beat him up some more. No! God damn it. No, oh, god damn it. Come on. I better not lose this thing. One. Kick out. I can do this. I can do this. Come on, get out here. Oh my god! Ugh. Right. Just gonna keep trying to pin me now. Kick out again. Oh, I'm getting that's the first thing I'm gonna upgrade, I think, is reversals. This has always been an issue on crew mode, is lack of reversals. EC dub, EC dub, no, BC dub, BC dub. Well, they're again booed. A right, player must win by pinfall. Oh no. I think I'm gonna pin him off my signature. Right, he said the same thing twice now. Boom! Harley race, high knee. Get me this win. One, two. Oh. All right, come on. The signal is over. All right, here we go. It's the finisher that won me the match last time. And cover. Come on. This is gonna be up. Two. Three. There we go. Nicely done. Damian Black with another victory here in BCW. That was a nasty dragon suplex. Thought I was going to do it after that. Bang. Knocked him out. And there we go. The victory for Damian. Right, so I think I'm going to leave it here now. I think 
depending on what's next, if there's another cutscene, obviously, I will keep rolling. Yeah, here we go. Here we go. No, nobody should. Yeah, I was about to say. You'll see. My bad for getting fired up about the mask earlier. We good? We're good. Here we go. We're best buds. Too friendly because you'll be facing each other again soon in an even bigger rematch. I just need time to build something. Baron, since when have you built anything ever? Well, I'm not actually building it myself, but I am designing it. In the meantime, I have some great opportunities for both of you to build off the success of tonight's show. Cole, an up-and-coming promotion in Japan wants you to go wrestle for them. <laughs> Even Japan can't escape the energy of Black Hole Cole. <laughs> right. Actually, they explicitly said to not do that character. They just want Cole Quinn. And Buzz, we are headed south of the border for a match versus Mexico's hottest luchador, El Mago! Es increíble! What? I took a few years of Spanish in high school. What? Guess that'll be useful on our trip. Hey, big things are happening for us in BCW. It's all coming together. Now, what do you say we bring it in for a big celebratory BCW handshake? Yeah. Yeah, not a fan. Not a fan. Actually, yeah, no, no, not a fan of the handshake. Nah. I thought they were going to do a Mega Powers handshake. I thought that's what was going to happen. But apparently not. Right. So, I think we're going to wrap it up here. So, that was the first episode of my career mode in the box. And, yeah. I've enjoyed it so far. Good start to the series. Hopefully, I can continue on, just finding time to record the rest of these. But nonetheless, I'm happy to do any more if uh, there's demand for it. And even if there's no demand for it, I want to do it anyway. But yeah, also, if you want to put in the comment section anything else I should do, maybe a playthrough of Showcase. I have technically completed the Showcase, but I'd redo it again if the demand's there for it. And also, Universe Mode. Now, Universe Mode, I been playing on my channel for years I've since like WWE 13 I think that was my first universe mode so if there's any interest in any type of universe mode I am all ears for that I just gotta as I said find time in my schedule and I will get to it but thank you for watching the video if you've enjoyed this video uh, then great I'm glad you did and I will see you all in the next video peace out <laughs>